Welcome to this Kineo overview about responsive e-learning for a multi-device world. So let's start by looking at uh, what we mean by that. Well, we live in a multi-device world. If you're like uh, the rest of us here at Kineo, you probably have a desktop or a laptop, you probably have a tablet, and you probably have a smartphone. So you're accessing content on all three of these devices all the time. And that means a different experience. But how's the web dealing with that? Well, it's dealing with it in a couple of different ways. First way is through responsive designs. And what do we mean by responsive designs? Well, here's an example of one from Google, the Cultural Institute. So what's happening on this side, as you can see, is I've moved from a full screen desktop version and scrolled into the size of a, um, an iPhone or smartphone version. And the way that the menu works has changed. It's gone from a full width to a scrolling menu. It's the same site. It's not a different version of the site, but it's adapting and responding to the size of the screen that I'm trying to access it on. So as you can see, as I scroll up and down through it here. And then as I move back out, it's a wider screen and then the two-column design that we saw originally again. The other technique that the web is using a lot is scrolling designs. And here's an example of that. This is a website about the Titanic. As you can see, I can scroll up and down here to uh, plumb the depths and access various different content items within the within the design here. So scrolling is kind of a more elegant version of the back next world that we're most familiar with in e-learning. So that's how the web is dealing with it. How is e-learning dealing with it? Well, we think that e-learning needs to be as responsive as well. And to keep this simple, we think there should be a single version that works on multiple devices. And our ADAPT framework really tries to bring these two ideas together. So responsive design and scrolling design into one framework to create a single version of e-learning that works on all devices. Let's have a look in a little bit more detail about how that framework is going to work. So this is the framework. This is it on full screen. Now I'm scrolling into tablet size. And as you can see, the menu has changed from three column to two column. And now I'm in at the smartphone size menu. And uh, the menu has changed layout again. Um, and as I pull back out, you'll see that the menu resizes to respond to whether it's a tablet or a desktop. Same version, uh, it's just responding differently. Now I'm inside the menu here, and I'm looking at a particular page. And this page, uh, we've laid it out to be a scrolling design, it doesn't have to be scrolling. As you scroll down, you can see various elements within the page. So this piece of video here and a multiple choice question on the right, so familiar elements from, from e-learning. We can also embed um, uh, animations. Here's an example of a HTML5 animation. Um, so there's no flash in here at all. Uh, it's all a, a single HTML responsive version. Okay, so now let's look at what happens to the uh, this example from the, the Adapt Design as we as we move in from full desktop version into um, phone size version. As you see, the key facts here is an animation, but as we resize, the key facts becomes text. So we decide to display it differently, responding to what's right for the device. As we scroll up and down on the phone version, you'll see that where the the video is still there, but the multiple choice question we've decided to take off the phone version, so we can decide which content to display and respond to the device. Here's another example, one that we've built for Barclays, which is about uh, new hire orientation. And this one, we've got um, good old next button, but it's still responding to screen dimensions here. So I've scrolled in to now look at the iPhone size version. I scroll up and down rather than have a full width menu. So again, adapting and responding to the type of device that I'm accessing the content on. So what does that mean in practice? Well, if you think about the old world, to the extent that there is an old world in mobile learning, it wouldn't be unusual to say, well, we want our content to work on a desktop, an iPad and a, a phone. Therefore, I need three versions. I need a Flash version, I need an HTML version, and maybe I need an app. Maybe I need a couple of apps if I'm trying to target multiple platforms. So multiple versions, which leads to multiple maintenance, multiple headaches, and an increased cost. We think that the new world, the new way of moving forward with um, e-learning design is responsive design and a single version. So keep it simple, one version that works absolutely everywhere. So thanks for listening. If you want to find out more about our responsive design ideas, come and visit our website, www.kineo.com, to see some demos and get in touch, and we can show you more details.